Hello my people, good afternoon and welcome back to this very channel. This is Victory Voice News, where we are day now. Please, if you never subscribe, what are you waiting for? Join and like, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and also drop your comments. Because your comments, eh? Now there we go, know what you have in mind. Whether you too do understand what we do understand or not. Uh -huh. So now, two people, they drag something. Number one person, now Sultan of Sokoto. Eh? Satan of Sokoto, you understand? Uh -huh. And one, Sam Amade. Two of them, they drag go, they say, hey, this one say, accept of the election. Accept it like that, maybe they move. Satan of Sokoto, nine, they advise, say, may we no go court. Say, may we adv take anything will come out of election like that. May we for the avoid trouble. May they no use knife, cut our head. Because then get knife, oh, then get gone. If you cause wala violence now them they do violence pass and uh -huh. they say to avoid violence make we for accept electoral process like that as it be amadi say eh say like like this one no go happen he say like like is they made that wala make a cause i mean make i read what i have here now be small quantum the Sultan of Sokoto has advised Nigerian politicians who seek court redress to accept election results in good faith. This means that they should not contest the outcome of an election in court if they do not have a strong case. The Sultan's advice is intended to promote peace and stability in Nigeria. And election disputes have been known to cause violence and other forms of unrest. However, Sam Amadi disagreed with the Sultan of Sokoto's advice. He said, according to the Sam Amadi, he said, accepting election results in good faith is one of the reasons why Nigeria is underdeveloped. He urges that accepting poverty, argues that accepting poverty, atrocities, feudalism, and other evils in good faith is a form of resignation that has held Nigeria back. He believes that politicians should not accept election results if they have reason to believe that the process was flawed or the outcome was not fair. Amadi's criticisms of uh, Sultan's advice is rooted in a large debate about democracy and development in Nigeria. Many Nigerians believe that countries' democratic institutions are weak and prone to manipulations which has led to a culture of electoral violence and fraud some argue that accepting election results in good faith is a form of complicity with this with these problems and the politicians have a responsibility to challenge the status quo so these two of them they are doing contention me, I would screenshot what I'm reading and you will see. So, what is your stake, take on this? Uh, what's your take on this very argument? I know I am of opinion that huh, the process that brought Tunubu to power should be challenged because it was shabbily rigged. It was not uh, professionally rigged. It's not something you can say, is it clear or not? This one is obvious, very clear, glaring in the eyes of even the blind. They know that Tunubu no win this election. True, true, he no win. They hear me so, he no win at all. Even now be the third person, now they carry and give him first. So that you will not even think he will come second. Tunubu will not even come second, per se. I'm telling you. So they said, challenging it will bring wahala that is nigeria for you takuya so that will tell you takuya now that is the way they move anything that will favor if you find out if you look very well you find out that fulani are very much interested in this power eh? they say tunubu should go muslim should go hence is muslim hence is tunubu no wahala say you go still favor them because now they are man nine day tunubu side you understand the uh, shetima of a person, of course. Nine be get the way they get for there, and nine be the number second. So if a Tunubu do anyhow for health, that one will take office anytime, any day. That one will take office. If you not even take time, eh? 
<laughs> as in they carry matter go now then go swear that one in i'm telling you if tunubu no come back then go carry that shetima if you talk then go tell you say avoid problem what is that problem fulani who carry gun fulani who the judiciary fulani who go tell police make you no consent to matter na fulani i mean call na fulani so now they tell you then they want you make but they made they for no cut off your head they say avoid problem but anakwana some babu agog this is not how this unity uh by first unity began even if it's how it began another set of people don't come up they say lie lie this unity must not stand though this unity it they, it they prepare for body no good at all we have 30 people get something now one person they dish them out who be that one person he get four legs he get four hands now what did people go go they think now what did they suppose they ask these people where they share this money where they share where they their presidency every time full and their presidency every time they their army every time they their judiciary every time they their finance every time they their everywhere <laughs> they get two heads they just they shall go carry gun they harass people up and down you can imagine this sultan of sokoto waiting in don't talk where in boys where he trained well well for killing for jihad you know saying that them train them well well and then they give them courage, say, may they, they kill, they go, nothing they happen. Waiting, he don't talk for Benway people where they don't kill. They say, in two weeks, over 400 Benway people, they don't bring them down, Gidigba, they don't kill them. Now, mass barrier again go happen for ben, uh, Benway. Waiting, Sultan don't talk. Waiting, consign and consign election. If they advise who as what nine boys nine sons and daughters will carry gun and bullet they kill anyhow now them is supposed to carry them go sit them down and disarm them tell them to drop guns because now them even give them guns uh -huh. now dear sultan suppose they put them out not before political matter yes let's call a spade a spade because suddenly they have hijacked nigeria Try to Islamize Nigeria by force, but God has not given them that free hand. But they are doing it morning, day, and night, trying to do it from all corners. Now they want to buy force Muslim Muslim ticket for you. If they tell you say make owner accept results, may you know they go court. It's just the advice to Shao, may you know they go court because they know say them fool for court. We go tell you say na technicality. Say that in way I next chairman do now they be, be the best thing we supposed to do. Say one thing, one thing, and now waiting people to be go here for court. But people be say in one go there, go here around. Anything way here, you go question them. Anything where they answer them, you go still question them. Anything they still answer them, you go take them like that. Uh -huh. If you go continue with Nigeria, well, that one nine cup of tea. But in people don't move forward though, they say people be safe now a distraction. For the agitation they say even if people be win, they go see they do the agitation they go you know here say they do already put a uh, biafra uh, government in exile they say whether people be like make it win presidency we don't have this indeed but like make they sign for them they don't already sign and give one now for international community and now they go shelly you never see that house now there that government go shelly if they hear me so so my people drop your comments like our opinion and also stay glued to this very channel don't be far from us okay thank you very much